Before the video begins, if you like jackets, hats, shirts, and blankets, and more, check out IntoTheAM.com. Use discount code NOSLEEP for 10% off everything. Thank you. Hey, what is going on, you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape, and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So today, I bring you guys loot from 24 Hours of Slayer. Using Steve the whole time, this video idea came to me one day recently when I saw that I had only 70 slayer points left and such a big stack of cannonballs so i figured you know why not increase the points and decrease the balls so the very next day i went live on twitch and did a 24 hour session of slayer which is exactly what this video is starting off the video with already not one but two whip drops on my very first task which was um 120 abyssal demons so no doubt about it you know the goal for this video was to get xp points superiors Blue scrolls, dark totems, and if we were lucky enough, a pet or maybe two. To this day, I still have no Jad pet, even after loot from 100 Jads. Still no Dagoneth King pet after 9,000 kills. Also, never had an imbued heart, so, you know, there's so much more to achieve as it goes for, you know, collection and completionist with, uh, Slayer. I did use Duradel for one task, but mainly, uh, Steve was the rest of the video. Always have used Neve or, you know, Steve or also Konar. Never really been into Duradel. Uh, I also have done some Wilderness Slayer, uh, but originally, I won't lie, you know, this video was going to actually be loot from 100 superior Slayer monsters, but I ended up disliking that idea, you know, I think I'm gonna hold off on that for the future. Kind of style it in a unique way, unlike this video. This video is mainly just a big uh, drop compilation, but I mean, that's why we do Slayer, though, you know, to get the good drops and to get the XP. I did also sell my Twisted Bow, so the Dagoneth King tasks that you'll see in this video video were a little more difficult than usual. I think I died every single task, at least once, but it's no big deal. No big deal. And I know that I have done a good amount of Slayer videos in the past, and honestly, I wouldn't have uploaded this one originally, but my RNG was just so on point, you know, from start to finish with so many different tasks. I really enjoyed the variety of that. You know, not only am I getting good drops, but I'm getting so many different uh, good drops from so many different monsters that it's almost like a miniature loot video all in one, you know, a lot of different things uh, rather than just one thing. And here's one of my favorite tasks, Ice Trolls, where you get granite shields, rune kites, and clue scrolls. Really do like that one. But yeah, I hope you enjoy the video, uh, and if you guys do, then let me know. I can continue to do some Slayer-related content while doing some other loot videos on some side accounts. And we also were able to get a decent amount of hard clue scrolls and even a couple elite clue scrolls while doing this. So yeah, we did save all of the clue scrolls towards the end, as we always do, so I'll be open up every single one of those. Maybe we'll be lucky enough to get a master. That's another pet that I don't have. I don't know if I'll make that a goal anytime soon, but as it goes for goals right now, I think I'm actually determined to get a quest cape unlocked, and uh, I'm gonna hold off on the uh, diaries for now, but I'll definitely get a quest cape unlocked soon, and a champion's cape, and you guys will all see that in individual videos, so you guys uh, hopefully will look forward to that later on this month, starting actually today or tonight, and I'm also working on a very strange monster loot video on my Iron Man, so you guys will see that. But yeah, as you can see, they did release new superiors into the game somewhat recently on Old School RuneScape. I was getting Drake superiors and Worm superiors. I believe they did release a couple other superiors as well with different monsters, but um, always do enjoy the fight with them. I, I noticed with the Drake superior, it's a little more challenging. Um, you sort of have to run back and forth a lot. Always watch your HP, watch your prayer. As it goes for the Worm superior, it's pretty simple. Most superiors in this game are. And if you're curious as to why I was not doing Cerberus um, or Alchemical Hydra whenever I was assigned those two tasks, mainly because I already finished the log on both those monsters, so I really have no desire to kill anything that I already completed. My favorite task throughout this video was anything that involved a cannon. I especially loved uh, Smoke Devil tasks, because not only do you get uh, Occult Necklaces, which are unfortunately only 435k, but you also get a lot of magic XP, a lot of range XP, and really good Slayer XP. Probably a good idea to wear the bracelets that extend your Slayer task, especially when you're killing smoke devils, but yeah, as you can see, just got a nice occult necklace drop there. And these are known to drop uh, rune items, but I don't tend to pick up all that, just occasionally a rune square shield. Same thing when I do neck reels in the catacombs, I never pick up my drops there, just the clue scrolls. I don't know, you know, I kind of just focus on the profit whenever I do a boss task, like Dagoneth Kings, 
you see these berserker rings come in and the archer rings even though the price has gone down uh, really does make up for what you lose on cannonballs and on runes not to mention having the Fremenic diaries completed so the Dagoneth bones were noted and my luck just didn't stop there you know I got a uh, cave horror task which is a task that I haven't had for at least a year now and I was fortunate enough to get uh, not only one superior but two black masks so the price on those are still looking pretty good these days and while I was doing this whole video of course we had the herb sack gem bag and soul bearer uh, with the bone crusher so you're we getting all sorts of things stored in the bank and you guys will see the live loot tab with uh, live commentary here pretty soon um, a decent half of this video is live commentary so I do hope you guys enjoy that unfortunately we had no luck with the Dagoneth King pets or the Jad pets um, despite you know gambling not one but two capes but I don't mind you know I uh, really do get some nice slayer XP and range XP from the Jad tab Overall though, I hope you guys enjoy the live commentary and I want to give a big shout out to these elves which are found in the Prif dungeon area uh, in regards to Slayer. They do drop a enhanced crystal which is over 2 mil and I was lucky enough to get one so you will see that in a loot video very soon. I can't wait to actually kill those things. I think there's a lot of profit behind them so I look forward to hopefully exposing that to you guys. And here comes a drop that no one ever likes seeing the ugly twin of the Berserk ring the warrior ring 39k what a disappointment not as disappointing as dying a fourth time at dagon of kings in one video though but yeah i did end the 24 hour with a nice rune dragon task always a profitable one and now we're going to go to the live commentary with the clue scrolls let's hope we get something good oh robin hood hat baby hitting the rares hitting the rares today that's what i'm talking about that's what we like to see that's great man that's great. I mean, it went down a lot, but it's great. Okay, 821K. That's really good. I'm dressed like I'm fresh out of 2005 right now. Look at this, huh? What do we got next? Okay. All right, a little, little pirate cosplay. That's not too bad. All right, not bad. 2.6 mil so far. Not bad. All right, White Cavalier. Ancient Full Helm, 157k. And the last heart is another ancient item. All right, 3 mil. Sorry, 2.99 mil. We'll round that up to 3. 3 mil from the Clue Scrolls, guys. And now we have two elites left. Two, I'm going to call a Third Age Kite Shield or Third Age Longsword right here. Well, it's going to happen in the Master Clue. That's that's what I meant to say. And the very last elite is... Okay. All right, gentlemen. As promised, I knew we would get it. Master Clue time. This is where it all can just comes down to. Right here. Right here, right now. Good luck, gentlemen. It's been a great 24-hour. Knock for the third age. All right. Three, two, one. Let's make history. Well, maybe next time, huh? God, it's such a bad reward. Not even 500k or so, you know. That's okay. And here we go with the loot tab. I did want to organize it, clean it up for you guys. As you can see there, um, we had a decent amount of runes, herbs, and some battle stabs. Got some javelin heads and some arrow tips. Those arrow tips, I think, were from the worm task. The very first price check, everything coming out to be 2.2. 3 mil, so that's not too bad. Next, we'll bring out all of the Clue Scroll stuff, a lot of the um, alchemals and the rune items that we got, as well as the dragon items from Drakes and DKs and Rune Dragons. This price check coming out to be 3.2 mil, so pretty much the first number, just backwards. Next, we have the whips and the Dagoneth King bones, as well as the rings, so this should be a very big price check. 20.6 mil coming from this one, that is awesome to see. We only have one left. I think this is just the Robin Hood hat and the uh, and the teleports. Also, shout out to the 32k tokel that we got as well. But yeah, we get another 2 mil from that. So overall, looks like if we combine every single one of those price checks up, we made 28.1 mil from 24 hours of Slayer. Now, that was just profit. Overall, we did make 33 mil, but all of the other extra cash was in supplies. Over 600k experience as well. Not as much XP as you should get. You should be getting a lot more than that. 
than that, but I was doing a lot of boss tasks, uh, so it was slowed down. Either way, guys, I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope you were enjoying the consistent uploads. I have another video coming out for you tomorrow night. I did give you guys a little bit of a preview of it yesterday. Here's another one right now. Loot from 1,000 Laren's Keys. Also, if you ever need a RuneScape thumbnail, make sure to check out the description. The guy that's been making my thumbnails for over a year now, he's very talented and his contact info can be found there. Until next time, guys, Mr. No Sleep, out.